Hi, I'm Dave Bricker. I'd like to go over a quick exercise in building a website using ActionScript 3. It's a very basic uh, lecture that I use as a midterm in my Flash classes. Uh, let's begin by setting up our timeline. And I'm going to need to do a few things with that. Um, I'm going to need a layer for my actions. And I always like to layer action script underscore whatever timeline I'm on so that if I'm in a movie clip or something I'll give it that name it makes it easier to find I'm going to need a layer for my content and I'm going to need a layer for my buttons and because of the order I've created it, these in they're in the wrong order I want my buttons on the bottom now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna label some frames I'm going to create a keyframe for my home content. I'm going to have another keyframe, which I may create by making F6, which is going to have my content for a bouncing ball. And then I'm going to have content for a flying spinning object, which will be an exercise in putting a movie clip inside a movie clip. And I could either add a keyframe or just put F5 here so that I actually have frames. I'm going to click on these one at a time go to my properties tab and I'm going to name be sure that you have this icon that shows a frame rather than what is in a frame selected this is going to be my home frame let's go back to the timeline you'll notice it's there go back to properties this is going to be my bounce frame go back to the timeline and this is going to be my flying object frame which I'm going to call fly so going back to my timeline, I now have home, bounce, and fly. I'm going to make a keyframe for each one of these frames. And I'm going to go to my home frame. And I'm just going to use my paintbrush tool. And I'm going to simply create an H for home. Let's go back to my timeline. A B for bounce. And an F for fly. Got lost with my tabs there for a second. So going back to my timeline, I have home, bounce, and fly. Now, one of the things that's going to happen if I can get this to scale up here, use the right tool, is if I scrub over the timeline, you can see where things are. If I test the movie, you can see that I'm just cycling through my frames. So the first thing I want to do to stop that cycling is go to my actions layer, open the actions panel, and I'm going to put in stop followed by parentheses. That's going to keep that from cycling when I test my movie. Let's test it. and we should be stuck on the home content. Excellent. Let's move on to making some buttons. Now, I'm going to go to my buttons layer and close this up. And it's important to keep these layers sorted out, and you'll see why in a moment. I'm going to create a home button. I'm going to option drag to duplicate. This is going to be my bounce button. And let's see, these are aligned. Home, bounce, and fly. And let's turn these into buttons real quick. I'm going to hit F8. This is a button. And I'm just going to call it BTN home for button. 
this is going to be another button called btn bounce. And this is going to be another button, F8. BTN fly. Let's do the first button. And if I go to my timeline for the button, you'll notice that it, it has its different qualities to it. Let me drag this down so you can see the button. And I'm simply going to say F6, F6, F6. Let's go in these things and change the colors. I'm not going to attempt to be arty. Um, just going to make some changes and then in the hit area it should work anyway since I think flash 8 but if you use text or something uh, with holes or gaps in it it's good practice to use the hit area and if I wanted I could even delete the um, text the hit area is invisible so now we've got three different states and I'm going to test that And when I roll over or click, I get those states. Let me finish the buttons, and then I'll come back to the video.